Hey family, welcome to The Hub. Today, I have Robin and Ricky from North Carolina. Come on and raise up. They're not going to take their shirt off, but we are so excited <laughs> to have Robin and Ricky who just celebrated their fifth anniversary. Let me tell you, this young and sprucey couple, come on now, AJ, nothing hey. but a number. <laughs> we have a financial analyst. We have a correctional lieutenant retired from the military. The two of them found love online so let's go ahead and welcome this wonderful couple what's up y'all hey so right. happy to have you soror and robin is a of the elite and illustrious sigma gamma Rose sorority incorporated welcome <laughs> <laughs> so so tell us so tell us all right from the beginning two single people what was what was single life like um, before you got online. Tell us a little bit about that, guys. What was that like? You want to go, go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, for me, <clears throat> a single life was a single mom of 14 years. Uh, I have two daughters. Uh, one is 20 now, 20, almost 21, and 22 years old. And um, my life was busy um, between work and the two of them. And I just always had this thing. I didn't just want to bring anybody into their lives. I was always very protective one, because I had girls and two, really, I just didn't have the time. Um, but it came a point where my daughters were the ones that were saying, mommy, you need a boyfriend or you should, you should start dating. And, but the first thought in my mind was because of my busyness and work and everything else, when was I going to, how was I going to find someone Right. Um, because of the fact that I didn't have a chance to really go out. Uh, mind you, when I moved here to North Carolina, which has been some years now, I moved here without any family. So if anyone was going to watch my children, nine times out of 10, it was going to be me. So I didn't take them to just anybody's house. I kept my children with me. So how was I going to date? I couldn't leave them home alone. They were still too young at that time. Um, and so when my daughters mentioned me dating, they even mentioned find someone online. And I thought that has got to be the craziest thing ever because how on earth am I going to do that? I got to make up a profile. And so they were the ones that actually showed me and taught me what to do. They told me, you know, how to go up and pick a nice picture. And so it, it kind of became a little family thing. And my daughter's helping me choose a picture and what to put up and all that. So that was basically how it started for me. Okay. So what about you, Ricky? My life was pretty much carefree. I was I was just out there dating. So, and uh, after a while, I guess I got tired of dating. So, I saw her picture and she caught my eye, and it took it from there. Oh snap! Oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> you picked the right picture, girl. You picked the right yeah. picture. Yes, we did. <laughs> So how long, how long were you guys like on the apps before you actually met? How long were you on the app, Ricky, or all any apps before you found her? And then the same for you, Robin. For me, probably about, I'd say probably about three or four years, probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for me, it was just a couple of weeks, actually. <laughs> it was just a, few a couple of weeks? weeks only because I wasn't so sure if I really wanted to do it because be honest like most of us have heard that's when you meet all the crazies and you know you're not going to have good choices and so I said I was going to try it but it, it wasn't like I was really into it when I did it I put the information out there but then when, when I realized I started getting responses and everything I was like oh okay let me check it out and see what's going on here and who's you know looking at my pictures and stuff like that um, and so it was only a few weeks, and then I saw Rick's picture. 
<laughs> but the funny thing about Rick's picture was, and I still laugh about it today, he put the most unusual picture up because, you know, most people try to put their best foot forward. They put their yeah. best picture up. Here, I'm trying to put my best picture up. I think he probably put his worst picture up. <laughs> Well, I didn't think it was my worst picture at the time. I guess it's kind of, I was trying to be funny, I guess. Yeah, because he had on like an old t-shirt. He had on like these raggedy jeans and he had a frying pan in his hand. It was, I guess it was the worst picture. It was very unconventional. Because he had a frying pan in his hand and his, his slogan was breakfast anyone, right? So I thought, well, I guess that's, kind of cute, you know, <laughs> you know if I want to go have breakfast with somebody or whatever, but I thought, well, he didn't really, like, put himself together, like, like, he really wanted, you know, to get a lot of hits or anything, however, I did learn that you can't just look at the picture, mm. you gotta read all the comments or the, you know, what the profile says, so I did read his prof profile, and I have been, always been one who liked tall men, and his profile said that he was 6'6". Six, six. Mm -hmm. That was the catcher for me. <laughs> Some little things on his profile, but that was the catcher. I said, okay, well, he looks kind of funny holding his frying pan. He's not really dressed. He's probably tall and lanky and kind of corny or whatever. But um, that 6'6 six, six caught my eye. Hey, 6'6". Six, six. So, <laughs> so your first date. Well, well, before the first date, did you guys like get on the phone? Did you chat on the app? Like, do you remember what that what like what was that interaction, Ricky, for you? Like, did you reach out? Tell us a little bit about that. I remember the first time she came to my apartment. Um, I told her that I liked Doritos. And didn't you show up with like a basket and it had Doritos, Doritos. and some other stuff in it? And they had to be red Doritos. <laughs> So yeah, that was our first interaction and it, it and it went well. It yeah, went well. yeah. Yeah. So so you guys did not get on the phone first and all that? Like you met in person straight from the app? No, we 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 actually did we we communicated first on the app. Right. And and I think the thing that caught my eye with him after the funny picture and everything in the six six foot six was he had asked me one day, he said something about, can you make a pair of jeans holla? And I, thought, <laughs> and I thought, well, okay, he's got a sense of humor at least. He may look tall and lanky and goofy, but he's got a sense of humor. So I said, oh yeah, I can make a pair of jeans holler. Hey. So then, so the good thing it worked out where I worked at that time was probably less than ten minutes from where he lived, yeah. and so he started inviting me over for lunch because he worked at night. So okay. he would come home in the morning. And that was the other thing we were trying to figure out how we were going to meet each other because when I got off of work, he was working and you know, vice versa. But he would come home in the morning. He would get a few hours in, but he made sure he was up at lunchtime so I could come over. And when I went over, he always had me lunch, whether he fixed it or bought it. He would always ask me what I wanted for lunch. And so we spent quite a few lunch dates at his his place yeah oh, actually the first the first time we met we went to the restaurant was it the restaurant yeah yeah we did i'm sorry we we went which, to a restaurant which i wasn't dressed in press then either he was not <laughs> but, I don't, but don't get i like to dress but i i was just comfortable and he also yeah. said he wanted whoever he met to like him for him and not how he dressed or how he particularly looked and so i Oh, he was testing you, huh? Did you show up in sweatpants and a holy t-shirt, sir? <laughs> Another raggedy t-shirt. What was it? It was an old t-shirt <laughs> and some jeans. And here I come all dressed up, my cute little dress on and everything. Well, you, well, you was at work. <laughs> well, yeah, I was at work, but I still dressed extra that day. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna come all dressed and looking cute and everything. No. He was like, he had on some slides, some <laughs> and an old t-shirt. And I'm thinking, okay, so he may not be interested. So we actually went to um, Bahama Breeze. That okay. was the first, that before we started the, visiting his place was yeah. Bahama right, Breeze. Right, right, right. And even that first date, I thought, um, okay, you know, I still wasn't really quite there yet. And because I felt like I did all the talking, he didn't say anything. 
And I was like, okay, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> but he he listened to me the entire time. But when we got out into the parking lot, I said, oh, you know, that was really nice. I hope I get to see you again or whatever. He gave me a hug. But even still, I wasn't feeling it. It wasn't until I got back at work and he sent me a text and he said, I really enjoyed that. We got to do it again. And so that's when I said, okay. So then we started doing the lunch dates at his place. And we were doing that pretty regularly, at least three or four times out of the week, right. um, meeting at his place, having lunch. So um, what about that first date, Ricky, made you want to see her again? Just just listening to her and how she communicated things out made me very interested. And of course, she was fine. So he rather. <laughs> All the physicals were there, you know, so, yeah. That don't hurt none, does it? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. So, so how long did you guys date before Ooh. the engagement? Years. Years. <laughs> Years. The funny thing is because what I consider dating, Rick would always say, we just hanging out, right? Hmm. I'm yeah, like, yeah. what? Hanging out? Years later, we just mm -hmm. hanging out. And I'm thinking, okay, so we just hanging out. So he was kind of like in and out, in and out. And then eventually I said one day, it's like, it's either you're in or you're out. You got to figure out what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew that he wasn't ready to get married or anything like that. And neither was I. We, neither one of us really weren't. I think we really were looking more for companionship in the beginning because we both had been single for some time. Right. Um, and so it was fine with me that we didn't get married right away. So we just enjoyed each other's company. Um, that was the most important. And it was years before I even introduced him to my daughter still. They knew of Mr. Rick, but they didn't see Mr. Rick for a long time <clears throat> because I wasn't sure what he wanted to do. And that was very important to me. Yeah. So then what what made you finally ahem, put a ring on it, good sir? <laughs> what, 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 what made it happen? Well, if I, know, I know if I didn't, somebody else was going in and I didn't want to lose it. Hey. So... Yeah. <laughs> And even and even before putting it on, I would I was I was still getting cold feet, but I went ahead and moved forward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now you guys have been married five years. You tell me yeah. you're about to turn fifty nine. You're about to turn sixty. What would you say to other people that are now over forty, over fifty, not sure about love? Um, really happening for them. You know, they're just as busy. They have so many things. They got grown kids. They got bills. They have impact. They have community service. They got sorority. They got their frat brothers. They got their meetings. You know, they have so many things that are filling up their schedule. Like, what would you say to that person? Well, what I would say is take a chance. Um, because that's basically what I did. Because again, like I said, I had my daughters. I was already busy. Um, so I had to step out and just take a chance and see what it was going to be like, because I really wasn't familiar with the online dating thing at all. Um, so I took one, I took the chance Two, I knew I had to find someone that was going to be compatible as far as, yeah, I'm busy. I'm involved in things, even now with my sorority and all that stuff. Rick is more very laid back. He's not involved in any of those things. He goes to work, he's come home and he's, he's fine with that. Um, but he still allows me to be me. He allows me to do the things that I enjoy. He allows me to come and go to the, the events that I have and all the meetings that I have. And I'm always <laughs> online. And in addition to that, I have a business at home. So I have a room that I'm in, which is also my at home office now. So he says, I'm always in that room, <laughs> which is true. But if, if, if he, you know, if he doesn't like it, he doesn't voice it. He'll say, you know, you're always in that room, but he doesn't get upset about it. He's not mad about it. He knows that that's who I am. He knows that I was busy before he met me. He knows I was involved before he met me. He knew all those things. And I, so I couldn't be with someone that was going to um, complain about me always on the go, spending time with my girls or busy doing this, or busy doing that, because that's who I was before you met me. Right. And so he accepted that. And so that was very important to me. Nice. What about you? Mm, like she said, I'm, I'm laid back, you know, um, 
I have, I play a lot of golf, um, but mostly I'm work, home, rest and lay back. What would, you tell, what would you tell somebody else who's, who's thinking about well, dating? Well, take a chance. Like she said, it's out there. You just have to be open to it. You know, you can't be closed off to it. Right. Yeah. And a lot of comments that people made, you know, because I have some friends that, you know, say they tried dating online. Oh, it was horrible. It was a disaster. They say all the negative things. And, and I believe that some of those things are true. However, there are some good people still out there. So if you don't meet them on the first day or you don't meet them on the second day, maybe not even the third day, there still are some decent people out there. Right. To me, it's basically kind of the same as dating people in person, is if, if you were to go to a club. You go to a club, you date someone for two, three weeks, and you find out they're crazy. Same thing if you met them online. Then to me, there's no difference. It's the only difference is you met them at a club or in person as opposed to you met them online. So it's the same thing. You got to weed them out. <laughs> you got to figure out which ones are the good ones, which ones are the bad ones. Same thing. You're just doing it virtually. You're just doing it online. You just kind of... and the, But the good thing about uh, doing it online, finding someone online is... If you don't want to be bothered, you can just you can delete them or you <laughs> you can block them or do whatever you want to do. You know? what? <laughs> and that's it. Whereas in person, you know, sometimes you get some crazies that end up being stalkers or whatever. You don't have to really necessarily worry about that too much as long as you're not putting too much information online. Um, but you can kind of weed it out who you want and who you don't want. Um, online. So it was an easy task for me mm -hmm. um, because, like I said, it only took a couple of weeks. I eyeballed him and kind of knew right away um, after, you know, a few dates and stuff, but I didn't have to go through a whole lot. I, I, you know, I talked to a few, but not a lot because I could tell immediately who I wanted versus who I didn't want. Mm. Um, so it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Again, like I said, whoever is thinking about it, and again, age is just a number. Neither one of us are, consider ourselves old even now. I and mean, y'all right. kids are, every now and then may say something, y'all getting old, but we don't feel that way at all. We're both very, you know, we do our own thing. We enjoy what we do. Um, and we enjoy each other. We've had the usuals, ups yeah, and downs, yeah, ups usuals. and downs. <laughs> but, but at the end, we come together and we do. it works out. We do, yeah. So we know that so this What do you do to have fun as a busy woman, right? As a man who likes his golf, like how do you guys come together to have fun? Like, what does that look like? Well, we'll go on trips. Um, you know, the usual, we'll go to dinner and just hang out at home. You know, right. just enjoy each other. Oh, you actually hang out at home. So you turn mm -hmm. off the devices and you look at each other and like you. Yeah, you we do we do marriage seminars and right. yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's we, good. Um, yeah, recently uh, more so um, have gotten involved with uh, a friend of ours from church who started a marriage challenge online so every couple of weeks she has these different challenges and we've been getting involved in those have really been a lot of fun they, she even had a valentine's day party on valentine's day and that was fun um even last night we had movie night right. just the two of us and my oldest daughter who's home from school uh, we watched the coming to america 2 movie together and just had a bunch of junk food and and that was fun we just sat here and laughed and joked about that uh, we're very into uh family well i am more so family traditions taking a family right. portrait every year, the traditional Thanksgiving dinner, and mostly everything is at our house. Mm -hmm. um, so we do do a lot of family things together. Um, so we do enjoy that. Both of our girls are in college right now. So they're, they're, they're away from home. His daughter is a lot older. Um, so we do get a, a little time to ourselves, <laughs> but we do enjoy family as well. So that's beautiful. I, I appreciate you guys so much for just coming and sharing your stories. So just for everyone who's tuning in, like, you know, listen, love, love can still happen at any Absolutely. age. Right? Absolutely. Like, literally, yeah. love can happen at any age. So Absolutely. if somebody wanted to get in touch with you guys, how could they find you? Do you have an Instagram? How, how, do, how do people find you in the atmosphere? I am on Facebook, um, both on Facebook, Ramen L, Ramen L King, and I'm also on Instagram, Redbird316. Okay. And um, so you can find me there. Yeah. All right. Me, Facebook, Ricky King, and that's it. 
That's it. <laughs> All right, y'all. We appreciate you so much. And for those tuning in and that are like, oh my gosh, dating profiles, I do have a dating profile audit. You could go to the website, inspiremany.com, click on the store and go down to the audit so that we can help you out in terms of getting your profile up. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And for those listening in, till next time, continue to love, continue to laugh, and continue to live. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.